three handles of vodka, 320 ounces of tomato juice, five pounds of cheese, five summer sausages, six jars of pickles, 10 yards of celery, and a lot of olives. We're making Bloody Marys for 100 people. So today I'm gonna show you how to make a big ass batch of Bloody Marys what to serve it in, and how to garnish it. But before I make a Bloody Mary for 100 people, we're gonna get warmed up with the classic, basic Bloody Mary. When you made enough Bloody Marys, you don't measure it, you just eyeball it. So I gotta kinda think a little more closely as I'm making it to figure out how I'm gonna take a single Bloody Mary and make it for 100 people. First for our Bloody Mary, we're gonna rim the glass, take a pickle or a lime or whatever. You just need something wet so that the salt will stick to it. Put some ice in your glass. When you're doing your Bloody Marys, I like to start with your seasoning. Some celery salt, a Worcestershire, a nice healthy scoop of horseradish. Oh, that's a little too healthy. Clean your nostrils out. Pull two to 16 of dashes of Tabasco. Maybe just a little bit of pickle juice, extra touch. Then you're gonna pour in your vodka and you measure vodka with your hangover. And then you got your tomato juice. Any tomato juice. Clamato, make it a Caesar. And then you're just gonna give her a tumble. Beautiful. It's not done yet though. We need one of these, one of these, one of these, and two of these. Perfect. Well, it's... Sorry, now it's perfect. And you need your beer chaser. Now that's a perfect Bloody Mary. Now let's do a little math and let's figure out how we can make a hundred of them. Your ratio of vodka to tomato juice is really dependent on the level of your hangover. So if Jimmy went out on a Saturday night, he stayed up until he's like- He's feeling a little rough the next morning, but he's gotta get uh, going. But you can't uh, go too hard, so he needs a good ratio. If you're serving Bloody Marys before noon, you can guarantee that people are- So you're gonna need a lot of vodka. Just a lot. Three handles of vodka and a lot of tomato juice. Class is dismissed, so now I got a grocery shop. And I gotta figure out the garnishes. That's a different story. I don't know how many pickles are in a jar. Our serving vessel. I think I'm ready to make a Bloody Mary for 100 people. This isn't excessive at all. Let's open some cans. God, I hope I have a good can opener. First up, tomato juice. That looks like a crime scene. This is a terrible idea. More tomato juice. But I also have three handles of vodka too. It's kind of like savory jungle juice. And then we're doing 32 ounces of Clamato to satisfy the Caesar lovers. Don't discriminate. I love a Caesar for the seasonings. 18 ounces of Worcestershire sauce. I'm pretty sure I did my math right. This is, uh, this is convenient. Three containers of horseradish. Maybe this is better in theory. It's gonna taste good, it just looks funny. It looks interesting. To kind of cut through all the savoriness, you need a little bit of acidity. About half a cup lime juice, half a cup pickle juice. It looks like a crime scene, smells like a Bloody Mary. One container celery salt, two ounces of Lowry's. Bloody Marys are usually ordered to taste if you like them spicy or if you like them not. In the Midwest, you have a problem with spice, but sometimes people don't know what's good for them, so like my mom hiding vegetables in Sloppy Joe's, I'm gonna hide a little more Tabasco in my bloody than necessary, but still keep it kind of mild. We're not gonna skip the Tabasco. A Bloody Mary should have a little bit of spice to it. So we're gonna add Tabasco, and then you have Tabasco on the side for those that want a real spicy Bloody Mary. Now for the fun part. When you're making stuff in bulk, buy in bulk. Kirkland, it's basically Grey Goose. And in with the vodka. Maybe it's not three handles, maybe it's just two. Where's my calculator? I think I'd get this for 1.752 ounces. Carry the one. My math is fine. If I do 1.75 milliliters is just about 60 ounces. If I do two handles of vodka, that's not even, that's less than half tomato juice to vodka. So we're good. I can do math. But I can't open these bottles. God, how hard is it to make a Bloody Mary? You need to have like a Swiss Army knife to make this. Two shots of vodka? Whew, I gotta work out before I do this. You know, you're never measuring a Bloody Mary. You kind of just eyeball it. You like measure with your heart, measure with your hangover. One more shot of vodka. I don't really think about it, but I didn't bring anything to like stir with. I wonder if just like, it's called a handle. And it's something you can't mess up because you maybe put a little too much vodka. You just add a little more tomato juice. You're fine. A little taste test. I did choose the Coleman because of the spigot, but I thought it was more of a spigot, like a Gatorade thing where you could press it. This is a drain, so we're gonna have to be quick with it. It just comes out fast. This is the wrong serving vessel. The concept is still genius. You can't eat wrong at that. 
Dude, that's perfect. Put that on ice. Bloody Marys for a hundred. That's so many Bloody Marys. But it's about the camaraderie. It's about generosity. Everyone's your friend with a Bloody Mary. Now we just need our garnishes. Yeah, this is magic. Some people like to throw like a whole fried chicken and a six course meal on top of a Bloody Mary. A Bloody Mary is a snack, not a meal. Keep your garnishes simple. There are four food groups for Bloody Mary garnishes. First up, you got your roughage. I'm going celery. Oh, oh. Not a very even surface is on tailgate. Then you got your pickled things. A hundred people, I have gotten uh, six jars of pickles. And I think it's not a crime to have multiple pickle items. Got olives. And then you got your meats and cheeses. This is about four and a half pounds of cheese. Always be generous with your cheese, so I got some curds too. And to go along with your cheese, we got your meats. Oh, jeez. And this can be beef sticks, bacon, or good old summer sausage. You can know, like, have a reasonable amount of cheese out, but not too much cheese, and just replenish as you go. Keep the rest of it on ice. The curds are okay, but uh, you don't want this stuff getting sweaty. So you grab your cup, you grab your ice. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Jesus, that's like a flood! I think this is actually better. It gets people through the line quick. And you need your beer chaser. This is a this is a chaser amount. It's a snit. Yeah. For the beer chaser is just like 100 to 200 dozen beers in a cooler. That's all you need. Or a keg. And that's how you serve Bloody Marys to 100 people. 